Hi, I'm Yana. I'm a third year PhD student at Lamont and today I'm going to talk about my work on heat waves. So heat waves can have negative impacts on both ecosystems and society. Um, so I was wanting to look at them across different environment types, so across marine, terrestrial, and coastal environments. Um, and I, the way that I did this is I used this connected components algorithm to track heat waves across space and time. And what I found is that coastal heat waves tend to be of lower extent, but their mean and peak intensity tends to be higher in tropical and temperate regions, and their peak intensity also tends to be higher in polar regions. I also found that the El Nino Southern Oscillation strongly influences the frequency of heat waves, especially in the tropics, and this is true across all three environment types. And I also found that I did this analysis from 1940 to 2024, and I found that frequency and concurrence of heat waves, um, their trends are accelerating from 1990 to 2024 compared to 1940 and 1989. And this is true for all three environment types.